Hey there guys, this is Dom here, and we are back with another random indie games. And this time we're playing a game called Flotilla, which was on Steam for $10. Um, and I bought it, I think, on a sale for cheaper. I don't remember how much it was. But, um, yeah. So let's go ahead and play. I played through this game. Um, well, I haven't played through it. I played... I died on the first mission twice. <laughs> um, so, um... Yes, that. So we're on Adventure Three because um, I played it twice just to kind of get the hang of the game, figure out how it works, and so it's got a decent amount of controls. Not really very many video settings, really, um, but I guess you don't really need them in a game like this. Um, the how to play, you don't really have that many instructions. Um, so instead of having to read this, I'll just um, play through it and tell you how. And this game is actually pretty simplistic. Um, it's kind of like Frozen Synapse, uh, but simpler I guess and in space so you only give one command every turn instead of queuing up commands like you do in frozen signups so I guess you could say it's like not as good or whatever but to be honest I'm enjoying it more than I enjoyed frozen signups because it's so simple um, you still have to think but it's just not as much work I guess so um, I've done the tutorial so I'm gonna oh, skip tutorial alright and um, so these are the different planets that we can go to so um, what I'm going to do is kind of play them left to right. So we're going to start by going to there. And so, um, okay, so when you go to planets, you explore them. And you have different events happening on different planets. So on this planet, there's a distress call from pigs. And they've got um, pirate help, so we can either help the pigs by killing the pirates. Or we can attack the pigs and rob them. And... Um, I think I'm just gonna attack the pigs and rob them. And we got <laughs> so by killing the pigs we got um their cargo which was 0.5 health regeneration. So um these are our two ships, we have two ships, and uh we've got one item in cargo, which is the thing we just picked up, so we're gonna arm one of our ships with one of these. And click done. So this is our um our log. So basically um yeah, so the first thing that happened is that we were diagnosed with seven months left to live, so we just begin our last adventure, and it tells us that we encountered pigs and we uh, robbed them. So we can always go back and see what we've done. So now we've taken care of that planet. Let's go from left to right again, so we're going to go that side. So um, it's our science officer's birthday, and um, went gambling. Oh, so it seems like we've gambled away our ship, was it? Services for the casino. So we either have to perform services for the casino or fight our way out. Um, I don't know what these services are, it sounds kind of dodgy, I don't know if it's... I don't know, I'm kind of interested to see what these services are, so uh... Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to do. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to pay off our debt, so we're gonna have to do some jobs for the casino. Um, just so you know, this game was made by the same people who made Adam Zombie Smasher. So um, I actually really enjoyed Adam Zombie Smasher. I love the style of the game. I actually re even enjoyed the gameplay. That was really fun. I played through the entire game a few times. I might do a video on it soon because I really just liked it so much. Uh, so let's go on to our next planet. So, as you can see, we've not actually done any combat yet. We've just been exploring the different planets. So, um, oh, here we're ambushed by um, a bandit suffering from space madness. So we're going to um, fight this bandit. So there are, there are two of them. All right. So our ships are the type that stay at long distance and um, fire missiles. Their ships are the type that try to go up close to you and fire at you with this laser. So we have to try to keep our distance from these ships, and as long as they can't get close to us, we can't lose. Like, we can't get killed by them as long as we're not close enough to them. And, okay, so if you look at the ship, oops, the front of their ship and the top of their ship has really strong shields. So if you hit missiles from the front or the top, it does no damage at all because it deflects it. But if you look at their um the side of the ship, or um the bottom of the ship, it's quite weak meaning we do a lot of damage from the sides or the bottoms and also from the back 
So what we want to do is try to flank them so we can get them from the side, or we want to try to um, get underneath them so we can shoot them. But the thing about the ships is that they can flip upside down, meaning the top of their shields go to the bottom. So meaning um, we probably want to get one ship on top, one ship on bottom, so that they get confused and they don't know which way to deflect from. Our ships act in the same way as the them. Um, our front and our top are stronger, so we always want to keep our front and the top of our ships facing them. So um, yes, let's uh, let's start with this guy. So we've got three types of attack moves. We can um do attack move, which is an average speed and average um fire move. So you move um a certain distance every round and you fire a certain number of missiles every round. So this is average average. A uh, flank move is when you move really quickly but you don't fire any missiles at them. And focus fire is when you barely move at all but you fire a ton of missiles at them. So right now what we're going to try to do is get into a better position. I, I, I'd say we're going to, with this guy, we're going to go for a flank move and we're going to go all the way out here. Uh, still trying to keep our distance to make sure they can't use their lasers on us. And uh, I think this guy, since we're keeping a pretty high distance, we're going to go up and this guy's going to attack from the top. And we're going to fire down towards them like this. So we press confirm. And now which direction we want to face will be facing this guy. And yeah, so that's that's our um, moves queued up for him. So now with this guy, we're going to try to go the other way, I'd say. Uh, but we still want to keep our distance, make sure they can't fire their stupid lasers at us. So we click confirm. Now we do choose our vertical movement. And um, since that guy's going above, I'm going to go below and try to attack their bottom shields. Like that. And confirm, and since we're doing an attack move, um, we choose an enemy to face, and we also choose an enemy to attack. So we're gonna attack that guy, and we're gonna face that guy. And so we can either play back just to see how it works, um, or the last round, or we can end turn. I'm just gonna go ahead and click end turn, and see what happens. So you can see we're firing at that guy. This guy's just getting out of there, he's trying to get to a good position, and hopefully those missiles will, uh, hit that ship in a good position. So you're free to fly around, you've got WSAD to move forward, left, or back, and right. Use right click to move your camera view and scroll to go up or down. So as you can see, oh, we got one hit on the side of him, but most of our hits are hitting his front shields or his side shields. So um, it looks like they're continuing to go for this guy. So um, we need to continue keeping our distance from them, make sure they don't get too close to us. But we still want to keep attacking them. Um, so actually we're going to go focus fire. And we're going to go backwards a little bit. Uh, we'll, yeah, we'll go backwards a little bit. We don't need to change our vertical movement. And uh, we're going to face this guy, but we're going to attack that guy. And hopefully we can get a shot off the side of him. And now this guy is his turn. So um, they're not really going for us, so we're just going to attack them with um, not move very much, but we'll attack them with lots of uh, fire rate, and we'll move up a little bit, and we're going to face this guy, and let's actually fire at him, because it looks like we can get pretty good shots off. So um, yeah, they're both flipping around so that this guy won't be able to damage them from underneath, but fortunately we have this guy that's on top, so he'll be able to damage them from the top. So I'm hoping these missiles will hit and do some damage. These missiles probably won't do very much damage, but that's alright. So as you can see, we're kind of ganging up on this guy, and we're getting... That should have done damage. Alright, so we're getting good hits on this guy. See, we've done quite a lot of damage. He's pretty low on health, nearly halfway. I'd say about halfway, actually. So on this guy, you want to... Uh continue keeping your uh, distance so let's let's move away from them a little bit um, confirm we want to stay underneath actually um, let's cancel that uh, let's go for a focus fire so that we can shoot lots of missiles at them focus fire and we're gonna continue moving backwards a little bit uh, we'll go oops we're gonna go backwards a little bit confirm and we're gonna go downwards so that they continue to try to keep their shields underneath. We're going to face this guy and continue attacking that guy. So now this guy, you're in a, he's in a great position because um, they're not even looking at him. 
so we can hit them where their shields are weak. So we're gonna go for focus fire. Uh, we're gonna go. We're gonna follow them a bit that way, and we're gonna stay on top of them and attack this guy. So that's end our turn. And you can see our missiles are still flying at him. At, now, now they're kind of getting wary about this guy up here. So they're flipping around so that their shields are stronger at the top. But um, hopefully we'll still be able to... So, so now this guy's bullets might become a bit more effective. Uh, they're getting a bit close for comfort. So I may begin... Uh, I may start um, moving away now. Instead of... See, see, that's their range. So if they get that close to us, this guy's pretty much just completely dead. So we're gonna we're gonna attack move so that we can move quickly. Those guys don't move very quickly, so we'll be able to move faster than them. So let's just move uh, backwards. Um, we'll since their shields are on top, we're gonna try to get low, and uh, we're gonna face this guy and continue attacking this guy. Now this guy over here. Uh, let's go ahead and try to finish off this guy. Uh, movement, we just follow them a little bit more. We move down a bit lower since they're moving down so we can keep in a good range of them. We'll face that guy, but we're going to try to kill him. Alright, so as you can see, we're moving far away, and they're not they're not getting any good, uh, they're not getting any good range on us, so we should be pretty safe. And looks like they thought we were going to stay still and attack, so he's gone for, I think, uh, rapid fire so he's not allowed to move very much that round so we're, we're getting good distance they're sitting ducks there they've got they can't do anything to us they've got nothing on us at all and uh... so yeah so now that we've got distance again with this guy let's uh... let's go focus fire we'll go that way a bit uh... actually let's go that way so that we can get them in a good position for the other guy that we have and we'll uh, we'll get a bit lower again, and we're gonna face this guy, but we're gonna start shooting at that guy. And you, um, let's focus fire. Uh, follow them again a bit. Uh, we get a bit lower, and we're gonna face that guy. And let's shoot at this guy. So let's enter in there. So yeah, they're starting to flip around again because they're scared that this guy is going to do a lot of damage to them. But we still got the guy on top, so he'll be able to do more damage. Whew, this is a tough mission. Well, not really, actually. It's a pretty easy mission. The other mission I played was really difficult. Oh yeah, so we've taken care of one guy now. we just got to bully him a bit. We just stay below him and on top of him. And if we can get on both sides of him, then... um. He, he, he won't be able to defend against us, so he's getting a bit closer though, so we're gonna move a bit away, but we still want to do lots of firing at him, so we'll go this way, uh, we can move up a little bit, and we'll we'll face this guy, and okay, so now this guy, um, he's gonna want to just rain hell on him, so let's move a bit closer towards them, uh, let's go down a little bit more. And we're gonna face him. So let's enter in there. So as you can see, our missiles are just completely. I mean, those his missiles are taking quite a while to reach because um he's far away. But um this guy's missiles are hitting. Unfortunately, he's at a good angle for this guy to not hit. Although we got one hit on. Oh dear, his missiles are. I mean, his lasers are getting into range of us soon. So oh god, he might actually be able to hit us. Oh. Uh, 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 oh, just managed to stay safe. Alright, we're gonna attack move away from him just so that he can't get us. And now we'll be on, if we do this right, uh, we'll be on both sides of him. And he won't be able to um, deflect against both people. So, um,. It's getting a bit annoying to be this far away, so we might go ahead and attack move towards them a bit. But again, we don't want to get too close. We will be able to do damage from far. Let's try to get a bit closer like that. And we can get a bit closer vertically as well. And we'll face him. Right. So hopefully this guy won't take any damage and we'll be able to get away. Oh, but he's turning around to face that guy. So hopefully these missiles will hit 
Oh, yes. We can take him out easily. The only cause for concern is that both of these guys are heading towards each other at pretty fast speeds. But, um, it doesn't matter. We should be able to take him out in time. One more missile, if any of these hit, should kill him. Way there we go. So, um, we won. We killed both of his ships. He didn't kill any of ours. Um, so we don't lose any ships. And we got new cargo from that. So we've got, um, rapid fire rate. So basically this makes you shoot faster. And, uh, I'm gonna make this guy strong. I'm gonna make him shoot fast and regenerate health. That guy is in, uh, we, we don't care too much about him. Our ten divine rabbit is who we care for. So yeah, so as you can see, it adds a log, and we uh yeah, awesome. So that's pretty much the game. You fly around. There's lots of planets as you can see. Um, there's a whole row of them over here, and um, so you fly around. You kill them, or well, you don't kill them. Um, you you fly around. You loot places. You get mm, weapons and cargo. Uh, you can get more ships even. You, when you lose a ship in a mission, you lose it permanently. So you, if I had lost a ship there, then we'd only have one ship on our next mission. But we still have both, so that's good. And yeah, we just have to go get different cargo and stuff like that. So um, that's pretty much about it for this game. Um, there's not really much else to it. There's a, another battle here. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. It's going to take a while, probably. But um. Yeah, so thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. It makes my day much happier. Uh, leave a comment saying if you want me to do a series of this. Like if you enjoyed watching me play this game and you want to see me play a bit more, then just leave a comment saying, um, could you do a another episode of this? And I won't make it a full playthrough because um, it will get boring after a while probably. Unless you want me to, of course. But um, if you're interested in seeing another episode of this, then go ahead and comment saying I'd like to see another episode. And um, yes. Also, um, by the way, I did a video series with Fish Taco, where um, he plays Dead Space, and we kind of just chat on Skype. And um, yes, so if you want to go check that out, I'll leave an annotation on the screen right now. So you can click on that and go watch the first episode of that series. And he's got a few episodes out right now, so you can go watch those as well. And, um, yeah, so just something about this game that I really like is the music and also the graphics. I mean, the graphics are pretty shit, but um, I think it's good because it's simplistic enough that um, works with this simplistic combat, and I think it works pretty well overall. Um, I'm actually going to go play it more because I really enjoyed this game. So, yeah. Uh, if you want to see me play through more of this game, go ahead and uh, comment. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.